Well, it's been over 10 years since my last guest paid a visit to Menangle. Of course, it was a far different scene back in those days with a far smaller track. He certainly has a passion for harness racing, which he got from his late father, Joe, caught up with Tyrone Bella to have a chat about his career and his love for harness racing from his dad. Well, Tyrone, welcome back to uh, Club Menangle. A lot of, lots of changed. In fact, it'll be different as chalk and cheese. It has, yeah. It's amazing, actually. They've done an amazing job since the last time I was here. So, yeah, it's very impressive. As I mentioned, you got your passion for harness racing from your late father, Joe, who passed away last September. And he arrived in Australia 1973 from Malta with harness racing, the furthest thing from his mind. Yeah, absolutely, and certainly the furthest thing from my mum's mind. But um, yeah, he got yeah, hooked with a couple of friends, and uh, it just basically snowballed on from there. They kept a, a horse or two for many years without any success, but they had a true love for it. So yeah, certainly kept them occupied in their, in their part-time endeavours of it. <laughs> And Tyrone, he never got involved in harness racing in any way, shape or form back at Malta where harness racing is big. No, it is very big over there, but um, look, they came over very early. Uh, they got married very early and came over. Uh, so he had no involvement at all there. Even the family wasn't uh, involved in it, but he had a passion for it. And I, I think he learnt on the job uh, like he did with a lot of things and uh, yeah, just took off from there. And just mucking about with uh, a couple of mates and he got hooked on harness racing and just had the odd horse or two. In fact, at one stage he kept the horse in the garage. Yeah, it's hard to believe now, but yeah, in a, in a double car garage uh, in the middle of Altona, <laughs> there was a horse there uh, being trained, driving it. It was actually taking it to the old showgrounds every day to work, uh, basically throwing it on the float and going and working it at the old Melbourne showgrounds every day and uh, yeah, taking it back to the garage. <laughs> Sorry, no doubt being involved in horses had a very calming influence on your dad because his job was an army ordnance factory bomb inspector. Yeah, that's right. Yes, he had a, a very big responsibility there and uh, and I think the horses were a nice release for him. Uh, even though we, we, without any success, uh, they battled on. I think yeah, true resilience uh, was the only way I could probably describe it. I'm not sure I would have been that resilient, but um, yeah, it was an amazing story really, but yeah, he had a lot of fun. To underline his passion for harness racing, in particular the horse, he was a hobby trainer, but took him nearly 20 years to get his first placing. Yes, yeah, 20 years. Uh, I think the closest I ever finished was about fifth or sixth, which is yeah, quite incredible actually to be able to go. And it wasn't like they weren't running around; they had a horse always racing, it just just no success. But they just loved it, and uh, yeah, just continued uh, to chip away at it. And once I, uh, I started, look, I grew up in harness, of course, and um, I started out in the pony trots. And once I started getting involved, um, yeah, the operation got a little bit bigger, and uh, we just started to seek out, yeah, probably slightly better horses than what he, the hand-me-downs that he was getting from yeah some people, I guess. Do you think you was going to get involved in harness racing to the extent you have now? No, no I didn't. Uh, I think it just kept uh, going. Uh, it's it's one of those things, I think it's in the blood. I think a lot of people would say the same thing. Once you actually start, it's very, very difficult to get out. You, you just love it. You love the horse, uh, love the competition. I think just love the environment. The people in harness are a, a really um, a spectacular mob of people, really, like right through whatever state you go to. Um, you meet so many great people and it's just one of those family sports that really is just fantastic. Tyrone, so you were enjoying some success in the soccer, but you decided to step away from that part. Yeah, I did. I, I was a junior driver and, um, and, and look, I used to drive a lot of our own horses, but I think, um, yeah, really, we, we put so much into getting the horses to the races. We don't really want to screw it up on race day, so uh, I prefer to use the um, the best drivers available. Uh, yeah, Chris Alford's our main driver, and when he can't, we use, yeah, Greg Sugars or Jody Quinlan. Um, we always go for the best drivers that we can, uh, and I think give we, we do our best at home uh, that we can do, and we want to give them the best opportunities at the races, so that goes with the best drivers. It was the uh, 2010 Inter-Dominion Trotter Series that started to change the family fortunes. It was. Um, look, that was one of probably Dad's biggest thrills, having uh, a horse make the Inter-Dominion final was amazing. Uh, Solar Active was very good to us. Well, we won, I think, 18 or 19 races with him. He was. Um, we brought him up to Harold Park a lot. Uh, we were bringing him up um, basically when the Harold Park Friday nights were transitioning to the Menangle um, Tuesdays. Uh, so it was, yeah, right in that mixed up period, but it was a fantastic time and we got to meet some fantastic people. It was the first time that we actually did travel um, and then we that's where we actually um, met the Fitzpatricks for the first time. We've had a, a great relationship and friendship with them ever since. 
Another nice trotter for the family was Olympic Idol. Yeah, Olympic Idol was our first uh, horse that actually really um, started to kick along. She was our, our first place getter, our first winner and our first uh, Metropolitan winner as well actually and she's been probably the, the juggernaut for our whole breeding operation. Like she, Nearly everything that we've got actually branches back to her. Even today's horse, Medina Sky is a granddaughter of hers and her other daughter, uh, Dreamscape Aurora, the Fitzpatrick's trained for us for a while up here. But uh, she won 10 races herself but yeah, she's her, her legacy of uh, horses have probably won about 70 races now. So it's been a very big part of our operation right through. You have a mixture of paces and trials. One of the paces, Carmi Dan's doing good things for the team. He, he has, yeah. He's in the twilight of his career now, but he's been a good horse to us. He's he's won 12 races and uh, yeah, we've had him, we bred him and uh, he's been a nice horse for us and he's done a, he's done a good job. Yeah, he has. Tyrone, the family can now boast over 120 winners. You've worked with such names as Denny Norris, Gavin Lang and John Justice. Gavin Lang, you still hold it all. Yeah, it's um, it's still an amazing, it's still hard to actually believe that we go to the races without him, to be honest. He was always just part of the races whenever we went there. Uh, the first name that comes up is Gavin. He always drove for us as well uh, when when I couldn't and he was just yeah, an amazing horseman um, and yes, yeah, very, very sorely missed throughout the industry. Um, yeah, absolutely. You got a couple of chances on Saturday, uh, Friday night here at Club Angle, GC Quarter and also Medina Scott, which is going around this afternoon. Yes, um, yeah, we brought them up for an experience. We've always, uh, Medina Sky does love the short trip at home, but there is a limited short uh, race program for her up there. So she started to um, yeah, go fairly well over the last few weeks. So we thought we'd give her a chance. We've always uh, wanted to bring her up and let her have a look at the Menangle Mile. So um, we thought this is a good opportunity. And and yeah, and GC Cold is really her travel companion. He's up here, he's, he's going okay. He's still got a little bit to learn, but he's still a little bit of a novice. Uh, the experience will do him uh, a lot of good, I hope. <laughs> And trying to part from harness racing, you also get relief, no doubt, from being involved with the horses because a full-time profession, investment manager. Yes, I'm an investment manager. Um, we've got our own business, which is great. Um, and thank God, because it helps pay for the operation. <laughs> the horses certainly don't. Um, but it's, it's been really good. It's a, having my own business actually really helps being able to come away for a week and uh, do the horses. And I have got a fair bit of travelling since Dad's passing now. I've got to do a lot more, of course. So, uh, But we love it, and, uh, and I think the mix is good. It, it's The horses are probably my relief, just like they were Dad's relief from uh, his job. Uh, being a financial uh, investment manager yeah, can be a little bit um, chaotic at times. So, uh, yeah, I think the horses are a really good stress relief for that as well. Well, Ty, it's great to uh, catch up with you for the first time and learn a little bit about the family. Good luck and uh, hopefully there'll be some success here at Club Angle for you. Great. Thanks very much for having me.